You know what I wish I had? A cowboy hat right now. I wish I had a cowboy hat. Hey guys, it's Daydream. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for joining me today. I am excited. This quarantine has just got me like, I don't know, just watching the most random things I never thought I'd ever watch, but here we are. <laughs> and one of these shows happens to be Nashville. Oh my God, I am in love with this show. I don't know what to do with my life right now. I just finished the whole entire series. It took about two weeks. I, yo, one night alone, I finished season one. I was floored. I, w I could not get enough of this show. So, I didn't take any notes. I wasn't sure how I was, exactly I was gonna explain my thoughts on the show, but I just figured I would wing it and just, yeah, just give a little simple review about Nashville, what it is. So basically it's a show about, you know, the lives, the tribulations, and the trials of these country music stars living in Nashville, based out of Nashville. And one thing that I really do like, or one thing that I really did like about the show was the fact that they were able to incorporate a lot of like real life elements. So, you know, it was staged as if these guys were like actual celebrities here in real life. Like they'd be on The View, they'd be on Dancing with the Stars, they'd be these, you know, made up fictional characters would be incorporated into real life. Uh, it was ge this show is genius, and honestly, you don't have to be a country music fan to really enjoy it. It's just all about the storyline. It's like Dynasty meets country music in the 2000s. Like, I'm just sweating talking about it. <laughs> this show is so good. Like, I, I don't know what to do with my life right now. It's just, when you're just so ingrained and intertwined into the these characters and the show and then when it ends it's like what do I do with my life like I'm just this emptiness which means I really need to get out more during COVID I, I really I need okay anyway I need a life but anyway back to Nashville so it takes place in Nashville in 2013 is when the show started and it ran for about six seasons so six years it just ended last year but I remember watching and seeing the show like not watching it but seeing it in passing like commercials and ads for it but like I just I never got into it I was just like ah whatever and you know I have Amazon Prime right now it's on Prime if you want to check it out and I just decided one night let me just I'm so bored let me just check it out see what it's about finally I'm so glad, I'm so glad I watched this. It is genius. So, I don't know if I want to get too much into like each of the characters or like the storyline. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's just a lot to cover. And again, I should have made notes, but uh, Raina James is the character. Um, she's like the big country music star from like the 90s and she's like the reigning queen of country and you know it's kind of set around her for the most part I'm not sure why but um between like season one and season five or season four it's like all about her really but then Juliet Barr is my girl Juliet my girl Juliet yo <laughs> I can't even Played by Hayden Panettiere, I Hayden Panettiere killed this character. Like not killed, like bad, but like she nailed it. Like she embodied this character so well. Embodied this diva, prissy. Like I can't even call her a diva. She was a terror. This woman, ah, uh, Juliet Barnes was the devil on earth. Oh my god, I would not want to work for anyone like that. Like I just like she embodied this character perfect this woman was crazy but she was a diva she knew what she just she was a go-getter she just never let anyone get into her get in her way and I guess the storyline from what I gathered from season one was that Raina James and Juliet Barnes were like the 
the the enemies, the, the two competitors. So we got the reigning queen of country for like 20 years and then we got this new pop country star girl just coming into the scene and kind of taking Raina James off of her throne for a bit. So the two are competing and you see their, you see them, that conflict and that tension, which was amazing. These writers, you guys, did an amazing job. I cannot. But yes, Julia Barnes is my girl. Oh my god, Hayden Panettiere is the best. Like, she was just such the perfect actress for this role. And yeah, I loved it. Can we talk about the men? Can we talk about the men in this show? Oh my god. I'm going to the Calgary Stampede next year. Like, I need to find me a cowboy. I'm in... Hit me up if you know how to like lasso like cows, if you know how to like bull ride, like hit me up. Hit me in the DMs. <laughs> like I love, I love cowboys. Not like I never did before, but oh my god. Deacon, 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 Deacon. So I guess Deacon played the love interest of Raina James. Raina James had a lot of love interests, so, but whatever. But yes, Raina James and Deacon, that whole storyline, Deacon's pretty hot. I looked up his age, he's pretty old in real life, but still doesn't really matter. He looks great. My biggest crush right now is Luke Wheeler, the character that played Luke Wheeler in the show. He was another love interest of Raina James, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything. They didn't really, well, I guess I mean, I'm gonna spoil, but they didn't really work out towards the end. Oh, Luke Wheeler, I have the biggest crush. That accent, I'm a sucker now for like southern accents. Southern accents on a man, I just, I, <laughs> I can't. So yeah, Luke Wheeler, maybe I'll put a picture here of him. This is him. I don't know, maybe in the screen here, but yes, Luke Wheeler, oh my gosh, he's beautiful, he's gorgeous, he's just, I'm putting him on my vision board of the type of guy that I want to like manifest, but like, he just embodies like, strong masculine man, alpha male that just kind of ran everything, he, and... You know, Hayden Panettiere had the hair. Her love interest was Avery. Um, I guess towards season three, they finally got together. But, you know, Julia was out here in the streets. She was just hooking up with anyone and anything that would just kind of, like, I don't know. She was that girl. She didn't care. She just, she just hooked up when she wanted to. Whoever she thought was attractive, she just called him up to her hotel room. Let's go. Let's get it. And, yeah, like... She's awesome. I loved her character. But yeah, when she got with Avery, I was like, oh, whatever. I think her character kind of like fell flat and went downhill for me in like season three, season four, when she got pregnant with Cadence. And I was just like, yeah, something, something happened there. After like season four, season five, I just, and then she's like joined that cult and can we talk about the finale though for a second? I just finished the finale yesterday actually. So, <laughs> the finale was something else. I loved towards the end, Deacon kind of had that reconciliation with his dad, who was an alcoholic and like beat him up as a kid. But, I mean, the, everything was going well. At, on the finale. Everything was going well. It was just wrapping up the character storylines. It was great. And then they all came out on stage for Deacon's like, you know, Grand Ole Opry, you know, you know induction, whatever. <sighs> Raina James comes out on stage like she never died before. Like she never, like this whole time, I guess she wasn't dead. All the characters started, just came out. And then I had this like, thank you for, oh no, <laughs> oops, I gave, I gave away the spoiler alert. Okay, so Raina James, di Raina James dies in season five. Yeah, sorry. But yes, they're like, all the characters come back out on stage and they're, they're like, thank you for six years. And I was just like, stop. I kind of clicked off. I didn't finish that when they all came on stage. I was just like, this is stupid. 
if you're gonna finish a season just finish it but don't bring back past characters people who have died and like people who were like left the season people who left like season three season four like why are you bringing them out again just pretend pretend to the very last end please please but let's not bring out people from the dead lamar comes back like why why are we doing this just stop but anyway it was a great show i don't know i'm just rambling i just came on here to ramble about what is nashville it's it's so cool it's so timely i was able to relate to a lot of like the music i'm again i've probably said this a billion times already but i'm from alberta canada and country western music is big here and i love country music but i need to find me a cowboy this show has inspired me i love men with southern accents i need to go down to kentucky i need to go down to georgia mississippi and find me a man with an accent because i can't i just i can't i can't but yeah the show is I can't again but yeah the show is great um the characters I again I won't really go into Gunner Gunner's a simp if anyone has probably watched the show then you'll understand what I'm talking about Gunner you're a simp I can't stand I, I cannot stand your character I, I don't know the name of the guy that played this in real life but Gunner you're a simp. Avery, you're delusional. You're an idiot for putting up with Juliet's bullcrap because no guy on planet Earth in real life would ever put up with any of that stuff. But yeah, Scarlet, I love you, girl. I love me some Scarlet. She's pretty cute. She kind of pissed me off a couple times throughout this series, but it's okay. I'll forgive her. She went through a lot. Um, who else is there? Maddie, Maddie and Daphne, cute kids, really cute. I loved how they evolved Maddie's character as she got older. Um, awesome job. Who else is there? Yeah, besides that, there were a lot of people that came and went, but who else? Will, we love Will. Big ups to Will. Will's so cute. I love his character as well. He was actually, um, on the OC. I recognized him. Um, his character from the OC, he played the jock, can't remember his name, but yes, look up Will, Will Lexington, look him up. I don't understand that whole Will Lexington and, what was it, Layla, I'm not even going to mention her, like she was just such a waste of time. There were a lot of girls that came on the show that were such a waste of time. Layla, Alana, like all these like simple basic girls who were just like not even important. Ah, <sighs> such a good show. I probably could have done this a whole lot better if I made notes, but the show was great. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, please do. I know I kind of gave away some spoilers, but the show was great. The writing, every episode, every episode of the show, like I was exhausted. Every episode, something popped off. Every single episode, Someone crashed, someone died, someone was caught cheating, someone uh, fell off a building. Like, you know, like, I'm... <sighs> there was just something popping off every episode. It just kept me going. It was like crack. It was like TikTok. I couldn't get enough. I was binge watching the show until 3 in the morning and I had work the next day. Like, I wasn't playing. The show had me hooked. The music is great. The fashion, like, Hayden Panettiere could have fooled me, girl. Girl, I would have thought you're a country music singer in real life, but you played this character to a T. You were amazing. But yes, Luke Wheeler, give me a call. I think the guy that plays him is Will Chase in real life. If you are hot, here's his picture once again. I'll put it towards his side. <laughs> Yes, I love this show. So quick little rant about what is Nashville. Again, this show debuted in 2013 and it just finished its season or its series last year, 2019. So it was a great show. I loved it. So 
Let me know if you like this video. Comment down below if you've ever seen Nashville or if you're ever interested in watching it. And let me know your thoughts. And yes, Gunnar, you're a simp. I hate you. You're annoying. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And yes, I will see you in the next one. Bye.